In this video, we want to learn the constant rule, a very simple and basic rule in integration. Integral of k dx, which k here is a constant, equals kx plus c. For example, k can be 2, negative 2, 4, 3, any constant. Maybe you ask yourself, why integral of k equals kx? If you remember from derivative, when we take derivative of kx, derivative of kx is k. So antiderivative of k or integral of k is kx. Because integration is opposite of differentiation, integral of k is kx. For example, integral of 2 dx equals 2x plus c. Actually, you can derive the constant rule as a special case of power rule. We can think of 2 as 2x to the 0 because we know that anything to the 0 is 1. So we can consider this 2 to be 2 times x to the 0. Based on the power rule, we have to raise the power by 1. So integral of 2 times x to the 0 is 2 times x to the 1 over 1 plus c, which is 2x plus c. So anyway, you can look at this rule as a special case of power rule, or you can consider this as constant rule. Integral of 2dx equals 2x plus c, anyway. Another simple example. What is the antiderivative or integral of x2 minus x plus 1 dx? To integrate x2, we have to use power rule. And to integrate x, also we have to use power rule. And to integrate this 1, we can use power rule or constant rule. If you look at this number as a constant, you can use constant rule. Or if you look at this 1 as x to the 0, you can use power rule. Anyway, the answer is the same. So what is the integral of this function? The answer is x to the 3 over 3 minus x2 over 2 plus x plus c. Because note that antiderivative of x2 based on power rule is x to the 3 over 3. Because we have to add to the power and we put the same power in denominator minus the power here is 1. If we add to 1, it becomes 2 over 2. Antiderivative of 1 is 1x or x plus c. Don't forget to put this c in the end. Another example. Integral of negative 2x to the negative 3 minus x to the 3 plus 5 dx. The answer would be negative 2 times x to the negative 2 over negative 2. If we add 1 to the power, negative 3 plus 1 equals negative 2 over negative 2 minus if we add 1 to the 3, it becomes 4 over 4, plus antiderivative or integral of 5 based on constant rule is 5x, and finally plus c. If you want, you can simplify this answer in the following form. If you cancel negative 2 from top with negative 2 from bottom, we get x to the negative 2 minus x to the 4 over 4 plus 5x plus c. And if you want to get rid of this negative power, if you hate negative powers, we can move x2 to the bottom and rewrite this expression in their fraction form. So if you want or you prefer, you can rewrite your final answer in this form. 1 over x2 minus x to the 4 over 4 plus 5x plus c.